judges were very impressed when our next celeb delivered a samba. It was packed with cruzado walks and promenade runs, whatever they are. But this week, her dance is very special and a very personal one. With Contemporary Ballroom, it's Ellen Keane and Stephen Vincent. Tonight, Ellen had her groove! This week we have Contemporary Ballroom. It's a chance to tell a story, but also we're finally doing lifts. This week I've turned up the pressure. It's not an easy routine. That left leg straight is just a little bit quicker. With our Contemporary Ballroom, it's a very emotional dance. The story that we're trying to tell is the journey that I've kind of been on with my arm. So I spent a long time hiding my arm. I was afraid of my disability. We have to make that connection between the feelings and the dance. This dance is going to represent embracing differences, embracing my body, <laughs> and embracing like how, how beautiful differences can be. Dancing Contemporary Ballroom, Ellen Keane and Stephen Vincent. Beautiful and so emotive. Uh, thank you. It was just a, a joy to watch. We'll go to our judges. Uh, Arthur, I'll start with you. Ellen, that was such an emotional performance. We could all feel it, how much it meant to you. When you were dancing, I was so captivated by you because you were so in the zone. There's no greater feeling in the world when you're dancing, moving to a piece of music, and you're so into it, and there's nothing else in the world. And that's exactly what you did. And listen to me carefully. I'm going to stand it because I'm going to tell you, you are a dancer, you are strong, and you are beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Fine. Well, Stephen, I often struggle to walk down them steps without falling over. You spun down them with Ellen Yerbs. I really no, hate so people good. that show off. Do you know that? So <laughs> um, Ellen, there was the odd little leg line where there maybe a foot extension could have been a bit better, but that's small. We're often asked as judges to comment on how people dance, but sometimes I think the more important question to ask is why people dance, and tonight I totally understood your why. Arthur said you were beautiful. The whole thing was just beautiful. We have to go to Lorraine. Lorraine, you, we see this on a rare occasion. You were standing up at the end of that performance. Yeah, I felt that it was a very uh, emotional but heartfelt message that you had for all of us. And it was beautiful in many, for many reasons and in many ways. But for me, the poignant moment was when you took off that sleeve and you showed us your beauty. And you also showed us that courage. But then you, you dance with both sides. I never see it. You're there with both sides equally matching Stephen in the lifts, the underarm turns. I mean, this was just sensational. Absolutely. Sensational. Please give it up for Ellen and Stephen. 
Thank you. Go, Simon! <laughs> Mr. Mr. Helen, you were incredible. I mean, those comments, I mean, can you even put into words? Oh, no. Honestly, like, this dance was so special, and I wasn't even thinking about the judges when, when I was dancing it, and me and Stephen just wanted to, to put on a good show, and, like, it is such a personal story, and I think Stephen did such a good job at the choreography and, and getting the story across in the dance. Is that, is that difficult for you, Stephen, uh, with such emotion attached? It is, uh, and, and you it was really important to Ellen. Uh, it's her story. Uh, she's a great dancer. She wants to show that. Uh, a lot of tricky lists in there. She absolutely... Nailed if it, you actually amazing. look at his face, I had put it up in the middle of the dance and he's like lipstick here. Oh, I don't worry about that. Just in case, we didn't know what was going to happen, so we always have these on stomach. Um, this, this week's dance, of course, is, you've been on a journey. Uh, this whole show has been a journey for you. Yeah, so I came here and I, I was confident that I could do it and I didn't realise that I was going to hit kind of like a wall of there's no one for me to learn off, there's no one for me to compare myself to. And I did get quite emotional. I was like crying in one of the rehearsals with Stephen. Um, but I realized that like, I am that representation and I have to be visible for other people. So I have to power it through. <laughs> you are that person. Absolutely. Listen, it was so brilliant. Thank you. Well done. Let's see how you score the scores. Come in. The judges have their scores. Brian Redmond. From Brian and I. <laughs> So, do you agree with the judges? We need to know. Let us know. So, if you want to see Ellen and Stephen out on the dance floor again next week, then here's what you need to do. Call 15 13 71 71 12 or text Ellen to 53125. Now, remember, wait until we announce the lines open later in the show or else your vote won't count, but you still will be charged. What about that? Ellen and Stephen, everybody! <laughs> We're taking another break. When we come back, Jordan tries his hand at a Spanish classic and Grania goes all out for the American smooth. And even more good news, one lucky viewer will be heading off on a fabulous holiday with a fabulous wad of cash with our fabulous competition. We want to